everyone. Welcome to part one on our series of sleeper sofa mechanisms, how to specify them, what dimensions to be aware of, how to understand what the mechanisms do, as well as the mattresses, and how it's important to really have the two work well together. Um, obviously, pricing is, an, is a factor as well, but um, we're just going to go through the different types of mechanisms out there in the hospitality market today and talk to you a little bit about what to be aware of when you're specifying your product. So let's get to it. In this episode, we're going to talk about the cozy sleeper mattress mechanism. Um, this is a mechanism that we have started using over the last few years. It's become more and more popular with the high-end properties, uh, the four and five-star properties, as they're looking for a more comfortable mattress and a better experience uh, for sleeper mechanisms. So. I wanted to show everyone today the frame and the mattress and how it works together with the frame because when we're specifying a product or when you're specifying a sleeper sofa, there are some things to take into consideration that are pretty basic. And what I want to really show you here is the cavity at the back of the unit that is required to accept the mattress and the mechanism. So for most of the standard mattresses out there today and sleeper sofas, they have some type of return that's required in the back of the, of the frame. And that distance can vary depending on the mechanism. So there's things that you have to account for as far as on your floor plan, your overall depth. If you're specifying, specifying something that has a back cushion as well as the tight frame, then you have to allow for even more depth. So the, the overall depth has to take into consideration this cavity size here. So when we do a tight back, not any back cushions, we have to use a no, spark, no side spring on the back just to make sure that the back is comfortable and have a little bit of return on it. So when we have the unit that's inside, we need a nine inch clearance inside the cavity. And we add for the wood frame at the front, and we need to add for the wood frame at the back. And those are both one. So basically just the frame with the mechanism inside, you're looking at 11 inches right off the back. Then if we're going to spring the back for a tight back, we need a spring that increases a little bit the, the back thickness. And then we need a minimum of two inches of foam. We like three when you're doing a tight back. So again, that can increase things up to approximately 14 or 15 inches before you even get to your seat depth. So once you have your seat depth of about 22, you can be in the 34 to 36 overall inch for the depth. So type back, again, for the cozy mattress, we need a nine inch clearance here, the one inch frame at the back, the one inch at the front, and then add your springs and your minimum of two inches of foam, and you're looking at about 14 to 15 inches and then the 22 inches. So you're actually looking at right around 36 inch overall depth, probably nothing less than that. Again, we can do a little less foam. We can go to a webbing, but the back won't be as comfortable. So we really want for the most comfortable sofa to get that 36 inch depth for a tight back. Now, if we switch to a loose cushion, so if your concept photo and your original design is a tight back with loose box cushions or loose larger cushions, then we have to add even more to the back. So we can start again with our one inch at the front, and one inch cavity, or one inch frame at the front, or at 11, and then we can adjust one inch foam. We can put webbing so that we don't get the arc of the spring. We can add one inch foam so that we're at 12. But then we have to add for the box back cushion. And our box back cushions are really nice cushions that are between six and eight inches deep. So if you take the 12 and you add six, you're at 18. If your back is going to be 18 with your back cushion, 
and then you add your 22 inch recommended seat depth for sofa and you're at 40 inches overall depth. Something to definitely keep in mind. Um, if you want even a more plush back cushion, if you want a little deeper seat, then sometimes we do sleep for sofa with loose back cushions of almost 41 or 42 inches deep. So if comfort is really your goal, we need to be able to play with that depth. So if you have a space that's smaller and you need to do a sleeper sofa, then probably think about doing a tight back. And there are a couple other options out in the marketplace um, that we can discuss. And we will discuss in next episodes to kind of walk through some of that and some of those other dimensions that are maybe not as deep. I also want to show you how this mechanism works. And I do want to talk about a couple of other dimensions. So I'm going to just open this for you, which is pretty easy. Um, it's got instructions here. It has a really nice handle here that tells you exactly what to do. And then it has more instructions here that you need to complete to step one before doing this, which we already did. And then we're going to go ahead and set this down. And the mattress comes right down. The reason why this is on the higher end and why this is more costly is because this mechanism accepts an eight and a half inch mattress. This mattress is probably one of the most comfortable mattresses out there. You can use some of the more commercial mechanisms that are out on the market, but they will only accept a mattress that is up to five and a half, sometimes six, but you're pushing it inches thick. So you can only get so much comfort with that. This is really comfortable, hands down, just super plush. You can see it. Um, and it really is kind of a favorite if you have it in your budget. The issue with having eight and a half inches here is that we need a little bit more clearance. So how do I put this back in? Okay, so that's going the dimension that is here is higher than the standard mechanism that, again, we mostly use in the industry. So this one is at 12 with a very, very little foot. I think it's about one inch. And basically, it, it needs about 13. Once I add my upholstery and my foam here, it's going to need 13 inches. Well, a standard seat height for a sofa is 18. So it only gives you a five inch seat cushion, which is not very big. So you either have to go up a little bit in your height, in your seat height, make the cushions a little softer so you sink in. And we can do that up to about 19. So you can definitely get a six inch cushion. And then the other option is to eliminate the legs and maybe just do a glide or do something even a little bit smaller than we're showing here. So again, the, the dimensions to be concerned about are your front deck at 13, your back cavity, which is about 12 inches for a tight back, minimum depth, and about 14 to 15 if you're gonna do, um, I'm sorry, tight back, and then even more if you're gonna be the least cushion. And, Another thing that's very important to just be aware of from one from a specifying standpoint is that the manufacturer who's making it needs to ensure that they're following all of the instructions by the companies who manufacturers the unit to make sure we're bolting it correctly, we're installing it at the right heights and depths and all of that. So wanted to show you Cozy. Here is Cozy. Um, in our next episode, we'll go over the Liggett Flat 3400 commercial grade sleeper sofa mechanism and mattress. And we'll show you what that looks like and then we can go from there. So I hope you're all staying safe and take care. We'll put all the information below on the Cozy so you have access to it. And uh, please let us know if you have anything else you'd like to go over. We'd love to address it in one of our next episodes. Bye.